This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's talk about July 2005. He's going to wrestle two dark matches for WWE. He's going to team with his former Tough Enough champion Matt Matt Capitelli to face the Highlanders, and then he's going to team with Chris Cage throughout August of 05 to uh, face a variety of combinations, including the Heartthrobs, Lance Cade, and Trevor Murdoch. This is all happening on house shows, and then from August to September of 05, he's back on reality TV, but for a new channel, Bravo. He's participating in a show called battle of the network reality stars. And once again, makes it to the finals before losing in the last challenge. And miss has several single match singles matches against the freaking Deacon in September, losing by reverse DDT and all of them on December 1st, Mizanin is going to defeat Mike Knox in the finals of a tournament to become the very first deep South heavyweight champion. And he continues to team with Capitale in the November and December, all dark matches until somewhere along the way, Matt Capitelli is diagnosed with a brain tumor after an injury at a taping in December of 05 and Chris cage would wind up substituting for Matt going forward. And after Matt's death from brain cancer in June, 2018, uh, Miz said that they were to be called up to the SmackDown roster as a tag team known as reality check. Uh, that would have been back in late 05, but those plans are halted due to Matt's cancer diagnosis. We haven't spent a lot of time talking about Matt Capitelli, but this is a guy who audiences fell in love with on tough enough and became a sympathetic figure because of an exchange with Bob Holly. And it felt like he was going to be a big star for y'all. And unfortunately we never got to see that happen because of his diagnosis here. Yeah. We thought Matt had a great potential. What a sweetheart of a kid. Love, love, loved uh, wrestling. Uh, living his dream. God bless him. And, uh, you know, he, he, he reminded me at times a little bit of a young Brian Pillman frame face, good looking kid, you know, and, uh, just, you couldn't ask for a better uh, person to teammate to be on your a roster member, just a great kid, very athletic. He was never going to be the biggest dog in the fight, but he, he had that Ricky Morton ability, not that he was Ricky Morton. But he had that Ricky Morton ability and tendencies to sell and smaller guys like that have to be, you know, baby faces, especially have to have to master the art of selling and all the different levels of selling. Selling is just not one word and it's all the same. It, it's a, it's a different, it's a progression registering, you know, big sale, soft sale, whatever. And so, uh, but Matt was a good kid. I, his, uh, we, you know, we thought he had kind of got past the hump and. You know, uh, he was working in a gym, I think they're in Louisville, but, uh, just such a heart, it was heartbreaking Conrad. If you knew this kid, you would love this kid. And, uh, and we all did. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.